what are we doing tonight? So we are making bags for the homeless youth in our Las Vegas community who are like high schoolers just like us and who were abandoned and don't have anything so we're making like care packages for them. Uh, we're so grateful for everything that we have and uh, that our parents and everyone around us provides for us. So we thought we'd pay it back to the community and give to others what they don't, can't have them to Take a Ziploc bag and then you're going to get just like do one of each. One of each. Whoop. Just kind of like go down the line. And then it's just five bags per girl. And also thank you for everyone that like brought something because that was very nice. So there's one. And then if you'll follow me, you know, And then you're in a bag. It's like the drawstring and then all the completed bags go in there. Sounds good? Sounds good. Perfect. Amanda, what are we doing? We are helping out charity and making hygiene kits for them. <laughs> Alright, Hannah, what are we doing over here? We are each writing inspirational little messages for each of the hygiene kits so that when they receive the hygiene kits, they can just feel happy inside. <laughs> yes, this is a story, so I'm going to call Mrs. Truman up to help me share the story. <laughs> So basically, Mrs. Truman is going to tell us a story of someone in like our Vegas Valley that is going through a hard time. That's like our age in high school, and we don't realize that there's kids all around us that do not have as much as we have and are really struggling. So these are the people we're going to try to help today. So Hannah and I belong to the National Charity League, and a director came in and was asking for help from the organization to. Um, and they'll talk to you about what Nevada homeless youth is, but these are teenagers your guys' age in the valley, and there's a lot of them, more than I realized or thought about, because you just don't see them. And um, really struggling, and she said that very day there was a boy that had gone home in September of this school year. He got home from school one day. The apartment was empty. He walked in the door. Everything was gone. All the furniture. His mom was gone. She just left. She, she just completely left him. He didn't know where she was. He still doesn't know where she was. She never contacted him again. He's all alone. So the school had found him living under the bleachers. He'd been living there for two months. Like, how's that, right? And they finally figured it out that he was living there, trying to go to school. Like, he was still showing up for class every day, trying to do his homework. But he had nothing, living and sleeping under the bleachers. So they found him and brought him to this organization that helps these youth. And she's like, she's like and this is the story. This is one story we see this every single day, multiple times a day where there's these kids that just come and they have nothing and no one. It's really, really sad. So she said the first thing that they do is they provide, they give them a, whole, a hygiene kit because a lot of times they haven't bathed, they haven't showered, they've been living on the streets, they don't have that. So that's one thing. They just kind of help them clean up so they can feel good, and get them some new clothes just so they can, you know, kind of have a fresh start. So that's what we're going to be providing them with today. You're going to do 100 kits for them. Take a card and talk to them.